Hi everyone, I'm Kremlin here for the Techies, and today I'm going to show you a neat little trick in 3ds Max to make things kind of uh, bumpy or 3D-ish, you know? Uh, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be making a, like, a texture of a wall made of gravel or whatever, or cobblestone, into something that's beyond a map and is actually kind of three-dimensional. This is called displacement modifier. So, first thing I'm going to do is make a box like that-ish and that high and first thing we need to do is go to the modify tab and go ahead and set the length segments all the way up to 200 same thing with width segments you can see your progress by pressing F5 to uh, view or F4 sorry I lied uh, to view the vertices or edges and stuff and uh, 10 for the height there we go we're ready to go now, next thing we need to do, since we're already in the Modify tab, go ahead and pull down the modifier list, find the Displacement modifier, oops, sorry, wrong one, um, Displacement, right there, and down where it says Bitmap, you want to select something, so where it says None, and then go ahead and find your image. Now, the kind of image that you want to use is uh, kind of a gradient -y. Uh, one, the color actually doesn't matter, it's the darkness of the image that matters. So, um, I have just a mostly black and white one here. The way that this bumping action works, that sounds weird, but uh, it like raises it or lowers it based on how bright the color is in a region. So, let me go ahead and demonstrate that. So now that it's imported, we can increase the strength, and there you can see it starts to move, it starts to form the contours of the uh, bricks. So there we have a little raised surface. Let's increase that a little bit. Um, and then if it's too much, we can increase the decay so that it goes back down a bit. And that looks decent for some cobblestone, maybe, maybe a little more. Yeah, that can be fixed later with smoothing. But yeah, there you go. You can see that there's ridges now where there's like darker spots on my image. And to complete this effect, it looks kind of like r rigidy jello with bumps in it right now. So we're going to press the M key to pull up our material editor and make a new material. Uh, press the little diffuse button, select a bitmap, and you're going to select the same exact bitmap that you used for that displacement and go ahead and drag that onto there, make sure it's viewable, and then boom. There you go. Now you have the bitmap on top of a displacement so that it's bumpy in the same regions where it aligns with the image. So right now you can see what we've done. Where it's brighter, uh, the bitmap is brighter on the image. There it's raised more than where it's darker, and it happens to be that the ridges between the cobblestones are darker, so that makes sense. Um, and one last time to show you what really happened with this, let's try deleting this and see how boring and flat that looks, really unrealistic. So control Z, looks much better, it looks a bit kind of bumpy, but that can be fixed with smoothing, go to mesh smooth or something or another modifier. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. You can do this with anything, not just textures like this, you can do it with mountains, with pretty much anything you want. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for today. Thanks for watching. Visit th3techie.com and...